So we are going to see the situation before the introduction of competitive cost advantage and the situation after the introduction of competitive cost advantage. So the situation A will be before trade. By this period, the two countries have not been trading, but we want to see the general world output before international trade. So A, before trade. low comparative cost. Using the table below, we have unit of labor We have countries. Here we have Nigeria, and here we have. Ghana. The unit of labor used by both countries for the production of the two commodities, the unit of labor used by both countries is 200. So the 200 will be split into two 100 for the production of one of the commodities like cocoa, then 100 for the production of the other commodity like ground. So the first 100 units of the labor, 100. Nigeria produced 500 units of ground nuts. 500 units of ground Nuts. And Ghana use it to produce 300 units also of granules. The second unit, 100 units. Nigeria uses it to produce 200 units of cocoa and Ghana 600 units of cocoa. So we can find the total here. So the total here will give you 200 units of labor, while the total production of both commodities by Ghana is 500 plus 200 to give 700 units. Why that of Ghana is 900 units. Note that the 700 units here denotes the production of both commodities, granite and cocoa, and so for Ghana. From here, we, can we find out that total output for both countries without the theory of comparative cost in operation is 
total output for both countries. is 700 plus 900 to give 1600 units of cocoa through granules 